Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can warp pretty much any object, including text and logos, using the Warp and Perspective tool in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. So there are many ways of warping and distorting text and shapes in Photoshop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up this sample photo here. And all we've got is simply two layers. We've got our warp layer, and then underneath we've got our background gradient layer. So what we want to do is to warp the text layer first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that warp is selected or that text layer is selected. Then we will go up to type, and we're gonna go ahead and drop down to warp text. Now what it'll do is we'll open up with this box here. Now, all we need to do is to activate the warp effect is we want to go ahead and click style. And what it will do is it will break down with 15 different ways of warping your text. So let's just go ahead and choose bulge, for example. Once we've gone ahead and selected that, it will actually show you a preview of what the warp will actually look like before you go ahead and press OK. Then it brings up with uh, your horizontal and vertical axis. So for instance, at the moment, we're warping it on its horizontal axis. But we can go ahead and warp it on its vertical axis where it's bulging left and right. Uh, let's go put on horizontal, but then you've also got your bend. So this is increases the type of warp either positively or negatively. So in this particular case, what it will do is it will increase the bulge on its horizontal axis, or we can decrease the bulge. It kind of squishes it in the middle. Then underneath that, you've got your horizontal distortion and your vertical distortion. These are quite easy to understand and they work on a percentage. So for instance, you can increase the percentage of warp on your horizontal axis or decrease it on your horizontal axis. And it's the same situation with your vertical axis. So again, you can warp it positively or you could go ahead and warp it negatively. Obviously, you can go to extremes like in this particular case where you can't even necessarily read the text. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, decrease that to make it a little bit more clearer to read. But what's great about this particular effect is there are 15 different ways of how you can warp your text. So if you go ahead and look at the screen now, I, for instance, got all of them. So for instance, you've got arc, arc lower, arc upper, arch, then you've got bulge, shell lower, shell upper, you've got flag, you've got wave, fish, rise, you've got fish eye, you've got inflate, you've got squeeze, and then lastly, you've got twist. So as you can see, there are quite a variety out there, but what's special about this effect versus other effects I'm going to be showing you today is it's editable. You don't have to, for instance, create a rasterized layer or create a smart object. You can edit the text live within this particular effect. So let's say we've created the shape that we want. So let's go ahead and go down to fisheye, for example. Let's go ahead and increase that to 65%. But let's say we want to change this particular um, name. So we want to change it from warp to, let's say, shape. So what we can do is actually double click on that layer and we can go ahead and change it like so. And as you can see, it is editable. Traditionally, you would have had to rasterize this particular effect, which means you would have to go through the whole process again or create a smart object. But with this particular effect, you can edit live text without actually creating a smart object, which makes it so much easier than traditional effects. So that is how you can use the warp text effect. Next, I'm gonna be showing you actually how you can warp shapes in a perspective format. Okay, so here is option two. And to be honest, it's the more customizable option. You've got a lot more parameters where you can edit, but you can also edit any shape. It just doesn't rely on text. So as you can see here, we've got a very similar format. We have got our rectangle shape, which is actually where we're going to warp that text into. And then we've got our text layer. But like I was saying previously, I've had to rasterize this particular layer here to allow us to warp it. So what we've done, make sure we've got our warp or text layer enabled. And what we want to do is right click and you just want to make sure your layer is rasterized. You can't do this to live text. If you want to do it to live text, make sure to follow the previous step that I've just shown you. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to edit. Then we're gonna go down to transform and you've basically got a variety here. You've got scale, rotate, skew, distort, and perspective. The two we're going to be focusing on are the lastly is distort and perspective. So let's go ahead and click distort first. 
what it will do is it will bring up these arrows. So what we can do is actually move these arrows and as you can see, we are now changing the perspective and distorting the text into our own shape here. So as you can see, I have now warped that into the shape of our text. And as you can see, it fits really nicely. Now, the only downside to this is it, it once you've clicked OK, it is burned into that layer. The only way to realistically get around this fact is by using a smart object, which is a good way of working within Photoshop. The only real downside, again, is if you ever want to recreate this shape, you're going to have to either go back into your text document and live, you know, type away and re uh, redo the words, or you're going to go have a save it as a smart object. But as you can see, you could be a lot more customizable. That is the distort tool. What we can do is go back up to edit again, go down to transform, and we're going to go ahead to perspective. Now, perspective is very similar to distort. What I can do is click on that, but all it will do is it will open it up. So as you can see, what we can do is real start moving these actual arrows around, making sure we've got the right distortion, making it a little bit bigger at the bottom. And as you can see, you can make it fit pretty much any shape of your choice. So you can fit it on the horizontal axis, the vertical axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. So as you can see, we've now again warped it into a different shape. And you can warp it into circles, shapes, triangles. And in this particular case, it was more of a square or rectangle. So as you can see, it's incredibly customizable. So there are my two favorite ways of either warping text or shapes within Photoshop. First way is really good if you want to edit text. And the second way is really good if you want to add more customization. Here is the before and here is the after.